Hi, my name is Gary Anthony with First Baptist Temple, and this is the practice of prayer. I've been burdened the last several days um, about the war in Ukraine and Russia that continues to go on and the violence that is taking place all across our nation with gun violence and um, burdened for the shooting this last Sunday, Saturday night in Buffalo and um, in LA at the church. One of the newscasters made a comment that it was the 194th mass shooting in our nation this year and violence is all around. So we pray today to end violence and war and senseless death. I'm going to read a prayer as we lead together and um, this is a prayer that was written in 2014 by James Hug. And as I read through it and prayed through it, I was amazed at how appropriate it is for eight years later. It's kind of crazy. Um, my first thought was, well, this prayer was prayed in 2014. It doesn't seem like it's changed much. But that doesn't mean that we change our prayer life and we give up on praying. That's the practice of prayer. We continue to pray. We continue to make our requests known to God. And I believe that God hears us. And so, I pray this prayer for an end to violence, war, and senseless death. Listen to this prayer as I pray it today. O oh, loving God, the guns and rockets, drones and bombs are endless. The pictures of destruction and death in Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, Congo, Nigeria, Sudan and South Sudan, Ukraine, Israel and Palestine, Central African Republic, El Salvador, Honduras and Guatemala keep washing over us in the news. Wrap all and each of these your people in your love. Speak to their hearts. Come to me, you who suffer and are burdened, and I will give you rest. In the last few months, mass shootings and gang violence have rung out in our city streets, in Los Angeles and Detroit, Minneapolis and Miami, in Denver, and more than a hundred other cities, towns, and villages across our nation. Wrap all and each of these your people in your love. Speak to their hearts. Come to, me, you, to, come to me, you who suffer and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Gaza and Israel are again engaged in senseless, brutal, vastless, uneven slaughter while the world watches hopelessly and helplessly. Wrap all around in each of these your people in your love. Speak to their hearts. Come to me, you who suffer and are burdened, and I will give you rest. And hidden, unseen in so many homes and families around the world, domestic violence and the abuse of innocent children takes vulnerable victims. Wrap all and each of these, your people, in your love. Speak to their hearts. Come to me, you who suffer and are burdened, and I will give you rest. In countless parts of our world today, the air is tense with waiting, uncertainty, insecurity, from ravaged lands destroyed by war. Your peoples lift their hands to you, pleading. We pray for an end to the violence, for justice, and for peace to come and to last. We fear that they will not. So wrap all and each of these your people in your love. Speak to their hearts. Come to me, you who suffer and are burdened, and I will give you rest. O God, the source of all that is, God of Abraham and Sarah, from whom three great religions stemmed, we pray for peace, salam, shalom. We pray for a just and respectful peace between Israelis and Palestinians, Sunnis and Shiites, Muslims, Jews, and Christians. We pray for solutions that resolve the roots of historical conflicts. We pray for a commitment to human rights by all sides and the protection of all lives. We pray for effective international intervention to ensure justice for all. 
We pray for humanitarian aid in rebuilding to reverse the destruction and the hatred that has grown generation after generation. Wrap all and each of these, your people, in your love. Speak to their hearts. Come to me, you who suffer and are burdened, and I will give you rest. We pray for peace and for justice in our homes and on our streets. Wrap all of these, your people, in your love. Speak to their hearts. Come to me, you who suffer and are burdened, and I will give you rest. We pray for an end of violence, war, and senseless death. Grant us this, peaceful God. Grant us a peaceful world. Amen. As you go about this day, I pray that you will be ever mindful of the violence that goes on in this world and say a prayer and continue to pray for those that um, find themselves caught in the circle of violence, caught um, in the ravages of war. May we continue our burdens and our prayers, giving them to the Lord, for he cares for us. He said, come to me, you who suffer and are burdened, and I will give you rest. We pray for this rest today. May you experience the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ as you go about your life today. Amen.